Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel of Jamia's Promo. Today, we're gonna get a closer look at the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, this one is a dummy phone. It is a mock device, but this one is the exact replica of what we will see next week on August 7th at Unpacked from Samsung for the Galaxy Note 10. Now, looking at this device and doing some comparisons versus the Galaxy A80, also doing a comparison versus the Galaxy S10 Plus, and also looking at a upcoming case for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I have had actually quite a few questions answered by looking at this dummy phone and my hope is that this video will also get quite a few of your questions answered so first off let's look at size it will be just a little bit larger than the galaxy s10 plus so if currently the galaxy s10 plus was a phone a little bit too large for you uh, it didn't really work that well in your hand uh, this one will be a little bit larger than the galaxy s10 plus uh, and you can see just a little bit of a difference right there uh, you can see the difference definitely from overhead the thickness is pretty much the exact same but when you do a comparison versus the galaxy a80 you're going to notice that the two of these phones are very similar when it comes down to thickness uh, and also the size the length and really everything else uh, these are both pretty much right around that 6.7 inch display they're both going to weigh pretty much the exact same now the galaxy a80 is a pretty heavy device that is one of the first things that i noticed about the a80 is just how heavy this thing is and so i know that the galaxy note 10 plus is going to be very very similar now in one of my last videos i was talking about doing comparisons versus the galaxy a80 giving us a lot of clues on the galaxy note 10 you know one of those being the faster charging at 25 watts but the other thing i also mentioned was sound on display now the thing that i love about this here is that there is no sound on display for the galaxy note 10 up here you're gonna see a baby speaker grill now if i was to grab a little flashlight right here if you look inside of there you see that little gray spot uh, right in the center, pretty much right above where the front facing camera is. Uh, this right here is gonna be from what I presume to be a speaker grill. So I am super excited that right inside of here, you're gonna have the ability of doing your, uh, the Dolby Atmos sound that you're always able to do on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, the other thing you will also notice is that on the sides of the phone, so on the Galaxy S10 Plus over here, you have your volume rocker, you have your Bixby button, and then you also have the power button. But on your Galaxy Note 10, what you're gonna see is on the right side over here when you look at your phone there is no button so what you will see is instead of the volume rocker and the Bixby button it's gonna be the volume rocker and power and so where did that Bixby button go now when you look over at the Galaxy A80 the Bixby button is gone but it's built into the power button which means that this button right over here is gonna be a combo the power button as well as Bixby so how that works is you'll press and hold on the power key and then that activates Bixby now where did the power key go what you'd have to do is once you have it activated to where the power key does activate Bixby, then your power is going to be on the very top, which is where you can turn it off, do the restart and emergency button and everything else. Now, if you don't want it to be that way, you can actually go inside of here, turn off that button that says power key for Bixby. And then now you're going to go right back over into the power button being the power button for power off, restart and emergency and everything else. But let's get this one turned right back on. And then you're going to notice that the power key goes right back up over over into the top. So again, on the Galaxy Note 10, no buttons on the right-hand side. So if you're right-handed, uh, there's gonna be no buttons for you. Uh, so everything is gonna be on the left-hand side. So if you're left-handed, that's probably gonna be something that you might like. So the Galaxy S10 Plus is super loud. It sounds really good. You got your speaker on the top, the speaker grill on the bottom, uh, but this one will also have the exact same thing. So earlier, if you thought maybe there was sound on display like it was on the Galaxy A80, be thankful, thank the gods of Samsung that there is no, hopefully, no sound on display for the Galaxy Note 10 and also no rotating camera. I mean, it's cool to have, you know, some of this futuristic tech and, um, you know, stuff that's gonna, you know, be kind of playable and, you know, testing things out. You know, it's really nice to keep it on a mid-range device, not putting it on the on the flagship phones because when I use the Galaxy A80, I'm afraid to drop this thing. When it comes down to cases, the cases only goes around the sides and the bottom. It doesn't really cover it on the top so if you drop this thing you're really screwed um, especially if it hits on the top and when you have actually your phone that's sitting on the table and when you open this up let's say that you go to your front-facing camera 
it's not going to turn. It's going to try to turn, but it won't turn. So if you do have <laughs> your camera facing, you know, basically laying on a table, it won't be able to rotate. Uh, and also there is no facial recognition when it comes down to this one for unlocking. And the reason for that is just in case if the camera mechanism thinks you're trying to unlock your phone, but it's sitting in your pocket, then that little, you know, mechanism does not open up and things like that. So let's also look back at this phone here. So you have your three camera sensors on the back. Uh, some of the things that possibly could be in this phone, if I go back to a screenshot I took, these are specs for the Galaxy A80. 6.7 inch display. This one only has the full HD plus display. This one will obviously have, you know, 6.7 inch display um, being at that quad HD plus resolution, which is just sick and amazing. Um, but when you look over here, you're gonna have RAM of eight gigs, internal storage of 128, battery at 3700. This right here is gonna have almost bigger numbers than everything you see here. Uh, the RAM in this phone will probably be eight gigs and 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, the internal storage will start off at 256. I, I highly doubt just by looking at all of this and the price point of the Note 10 versus the price point of the A80, there's no way that you'll get a phone of the Note 10 with 128 gigs. You'll get 256 standard, which is going to make up for no micro SD card. Now I'd have to say, to be completely honest, I have not used a micro SD card in the last two years, maybe three years. There's really no reason for it. A lot of people like, you know, just having their pictures on their SD card for some reason, but really, you don't do anything with it. My guess is more than likely you have it in there just to say that you have it, but you don't really take it out, put it in computers and do things like that. Honestly, just make sure everything is set up with Google Photos. Uh, and if you need to have a little tutorial on that, I'll show you right over here. Just head inside of your Google uh, folder, go inside of the photos, and then on the very top right hand side uh, with those three little dots or three little lines, just go underneath your settings, go to backup and sync, and just make sure that you have your settings just like this. Have your upload size at high quality, uh, which is free unlimited storage. And then just make sure you turn on uh, photos to have it cellularly backed up. And then when you are connected to Wi-Fi, then the videos will go. So you won't be losing anything. For me, I just wanted the ability to make sure that I have my photos if something was to happen. and. If you lose your phone, you'll lose your micro SD card as well. Micro SD cards also slows down phones. Um, also, the Galaxy Note 10 is probably going to have that UFS, uh, Universal Flash Storage 3.0, which is super fast. It'll probably corrupt micro SD cards anyways. Um, and uh, you have larger internal storage. So you're going to be perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. The other thing that you will be missing is that there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So what you see here is just going to be a mic, your USB type C, which is probably going to be uh, that 25 watt charging. You could probably buy another brick that can give you that 45 watts, but it's gonna probably cost $45. Um, you do have your speaker grill on the bottom and then that S Pen. And then looking on the top of the device, you're gonna see a couple different holes. I don't know if one of these is gonna be for an infrared. Um, I don't really know about that, but we're gonna definitely have some you know, noise canceling microphones on the very top. And then your SIM card is gonna be on the very top. So I don't know if this is gonna have the new SIM card slot that was built into the A80 where it's a little bit smaller, less flimsy, and it's not gonna break as easy. I do love that one, and maybe I can show you what I mean by that. But I'm just super pleased and happy that on the front of this phone, you will be having your normal speaker grill on the bottom and also the speaker grill on the top, because when you do phone calls on the Galaxy A80 with the sound on display or sound under display, you would have to put your ear in the middle of the phone. So usually when you call someone, if it shows their image or if it shows a circle, that is where you place your ear. And then looking over at the case, right over here you can see all the camera cutouts everything is going to be right there if you look on the very top you're going to see everything that i've been talking about from before with those couple different hole cutouts so i don't know if that's for noise cancellation and maybe even possibly infrared but that'd be cool, super cool um, or maybe a different sensor for the s pen because uh, i know that when you do have the s pen and it's pulled out you'll be able to do a lot of cool things away from the phone so not only is the phone gonna you know pick up that you have an s pen with a small dot but you'll do small things like maybe flip pages you know uh, flip Flip on the images and switch your different web pages and things like that. Bottom's gonna be, you know, the area for the mic, your plug for the Type C, speaker grill, and then that S Pen. So really, this is all that you really need to look at for the Galaxy Note 10. So if we move over here though, let's look at a little bit more stuff. So again, like I said from before, the Galaxy Note 10 obviously is gonna be 256 gigs of internal storage. The battery is gonna probably be bigger than that 3700. Um, the RAM is gonna be pretty similar, maybe eight gigs as well as a 12 gig 
option as well. Now, if we go over and look at the cameras on the back, this is probably something that we could see in the Galaxy Note 10. There's really no 100% official confirmation on these ones, but it could be very similar to what the Galaxy A80 has. So you could be seeing possibly a eight megapixel, 123 ultra wide camera that is on the top of the Galaxy Note 10. Uh, and it could be right around that aperture of F2.2. Maybe it could be improved F2.1 or 2.0. Um, also the main camera could have Samsung's ISO cell in there. Maybe the 48 megapixel main camera at F2.0, maybe a little bit better. Hopefully maybe a 1.7 or something like that. But um, this one is, you know, a mid range device. So I'm hoping it'd be just a little bit better for apertures on these uh, camera sensors, as well as a 3D depth camera on the very back of here. And so that's what some of these sensors are over on the sides. Uh, and so this would give you that, that depth effect. It's the time uh, or time of flight sensors. So this way you can get things that are out of focus when you have other things in focus. So as an example on the Galaxy A80, you have the ability of doing not only the live photo, but also the live video. So this will be something that is new on the Galaxy Note 10. So you can see everything else is pretty much out of focus, but only the subject in the middle is in focus and you're able to do it with video. Now with the other devices, you're not able to do that. You were able to do it with photos. Now really, the cool thing that they're really going to be improving on the Galaxy Note 10 is not really just everything on the outside. You know, there is a little bit of, you know, features and changes with the small little, you know, camera cutout in the very middle, very small. Um, also a smaller speaker grill on the top, you know, when you compare it versus over the Galaxy S10 Plus. Earlier you saw that small little uh, gray area. It's actually almost the size of the little pinhole. So when you look at the pinhole right here for the SIM, if you were to double that size and put it in the middle, here that's pretty much the size of the speaker on the top of the Galaxy Note 10. But really all the big changes and improvements is going to be inside of the Galaxy S Pen. Um, it's also going to be inside of some of the small little feature sets that's also built inside of the Galaxy Note 10. And I guess I'll close on this little fact too. I do believe that there was a rumor going around talking about how the Galaxy Note 10s were going to have the Snapdragon 855 and then possibly maybe now the 855 Plus. And I do believe that one to be plausible and true. So you're going to have a really good processor some really nice cameras. You're gonna have a nice setup, a nice display. Uh, you have a little bit faster charging. You know, even though there is no micro SD card slot and there is no uh, you know, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but that's really no big deal because really, you know, you don't need a, a micro SD card. You also don't need your headset if you're gonna be plugging in. Um, it will be coming with some type C, you know, earbuds. And I don't believe I have my type C earbuds. Yes, I do. So with the new Type-C uh, you know, earbuds that you guys are gonna have, it'll have obviously Type-C on the end, and then you're gonna see you know, some buds over here. It's probably gonna be a better quality than this one. This one did come with the A80, so this one's gonna be like a mid-range type of headset. Uh, and hopefully the Galaxy Note 10 will have something just a little bit better, uh, maybe some uh, AKG earphones or something like that. But you know, other than that, this is gonna be a pretty nice phone. So now hopefully the price is gonna be something that's pretty reasonable with this one. Uh, and I'm really excited to see the new features that the S Pen is also going to have. But other than that, I hope that this video has answered a few of your questions. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe on the very bottom left hand side, that little circle, click that. It'll get you subscribed. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.